Good evening, y'all. Welcome back, everyone. Nice to see you here. Hope you're all ready because today I'm playing Lights, Camera, Slaughter again. I played an older demo for this a little while ago and I enjoyed it, but this one seems like it's going to be a bit better. Looks like it goes a little bit more in depth with the story and I'm ready to play. So let's play. I hate working the night shift here. There's never any 911 calls this late. Everyone's gone back home, so I'm all alone. I mean, seriously. Last night, I got a call from Mrs. Jenkins about her cat in the tree. Some people have no lives, just like nerds who play video <laughs> But that's enough complaining. I should make myself a coffee and start my shift. It's gonna be a long night. I can interact with objects using- what? what? Who says that? Who says that in their day-to-day -day life? Guess it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, that's messing with my head. I'm not gonna stick around too long. Uh-huh, the state finally giving us a new vending machine. Damn shame I don't have any cash for a soda. That's not, first of all, the state needs to take this vending machine back. It is cursed. Second of all, I was going for this key. Okay, well, I guess I'm not allowed. I guess I'm not allowed to have that key. Can I leave? I need to get a drink before going to work. Okay, oh, here we go. Get a cup of water? Yes, I'm thirsty. Okay, I like the infinite state of water, but you gotta relax. Let's get out of here. This place is doing my head in. Now that I have my drink, I can start taking some 911 calls that come in. I just need to find a desk with a red phone. This will let me take any incoming calls. Oh, so I'm at a dispatch. Okay. Or maybe I am. What? Why is it red outside? That's not a weather condition I'm familiar with. All right, here I am. How do I sit down? I can use this computer and put phone and phone to take calls <laughs> sit down and take 911 calls yeah sure i can answer the phone by looking and pressing see there you go again i don't un sorry i don't understand this once i've answered the phone i can ask multiple questions i need to get as much information as possible what's this whole pressing e thing is this some new way of living that i'm not familiar with where's the phone call call me Ari. do it uh -oh. hello please help I need the fire department. Slow down what's going on or where are you? We'll send them now. Why don't I just, why don't I do that? I'm at Danny's bar. There's a smoking, oh my God. Sir, this is for emergencies only. F you buddy. No, F you dipshit. F***ing jackass, what a waste of time. Oh, am I really gonna have to censor every time I swear? I don't know if I'm gonna do that to be honest. Oh, another call. Hello? Who is this, do you need help? Sir? Hello? Are you safe? Another prank call, great. Yeah, I don't know if you should just immediately dismiss that as a prank call. Might be something far worse. Ah, another phone call. These are, these are firing off. Hello, I want to report a disturbance. What's going on? Four kids are trespassing at the Miller and Son Slaughterhouse. Uh, can you see them? They just went in. I, I can hear screams, hurry. Okay, sir, police are on the way. Hurry. They're arriving now, sir. Relax. Uh, my phone is just gone. On July 2nd, 1990, Officer M. Andrews would go missing whilst on duty in the Maston Lake area. His last known whereabouts was Miller and Sons Abattoir. Is that how that's pronounced? Abattoir. Just north of Maston Lake. Although his body was found, it was too mutilated and outright horrific to identify at the time. Specialists say he was hacked with a sort of butcher knife, roughly 16 inches in length, with tremendous force. This weapon was never found. M. Andrews was responding to a dispatch call of disturbance within the perimeter of the Miller and Sons establishment. Although dispatch lost all contact with Andrews after responding to this call, it was believed he was struck whilst trying to enter the now abandoned building itself. However, only M. Andrews would know, will know the full story. M. Andrews. Oh, so I'm playing as M. Andrews. Whoa. Dispatch, this is Andrews. I've just arrived at the scene now. No signs of anyone here so far over. 10-4, Andrew. Mr. Jenkins said he saw four kids enter the slaughterhouse. Probably some raving in. Well, I'll look for any clues and a way into the building. I'll let you know if I see anything. 10-4, Andrews. Pass my best wishes to your wife. How long has she got? Three months. I'm visiting her in hospital tonight. I'll pass your message on. Over and out. Nice. Nice. I got a lady pregnant. Nice. Fatherhood. Yes. <laughs> Why would you face me the wrong way? Whatever. You know what? I guess I gotta go here. This seems like the best course of action. Car. Whoa. This must be their car. The hood is warm to the touch and the motor starter is still clicking. They must have arrived within the last hour or so. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, how do I get over there? Maybe this is just like a little parking area. Maybe I gotta go this way. 
Lakota. Okay, maybe I don't gotta go this way. What the hell? Where do I go? Oh, here we go. I'm crouching to go in. Huh. Okay, here we go. A toilet bowl. I'll make sure to come pick that up on my way back. I kind of need one of those. Hello. This car is completely abandoned. All four wheels have burst and rust is seeping from the hood. Ugh. Maybe that's why it's abandoned. Whoa. Okay. We're here. Um, do I go in? I go in and... We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> it... There... See... Disturb it. <laughs> Dispatch? Can you hear me? Damn radio. I need to go back outside and get signal. And I am 100% sure it won't let me out. God damn it, I came through one way door. I need to find an exit and call for backup. I can use space. Okay, well, uh, I guess this is the world of uh, everyone has keyboard bodies. All right, let's just plunge head on into danger. Why don't we? Can I go in here? I can. Okay, maybe, let me, let me try the other door. Maybe this is the way I go. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, you, you maybe didn't even have to say that. I, based on the sound, the ridiculous sound I heard, I think I could pretty much gather that. I'm just going into room after room. No inhibitions whatsoever. No care in the world. These are all filled with shit. Right, I'm getting out of here. It stinks. It's disgusting. Next room. It's locked from the... Okay, yeah, I got it. With that sound, I got it. What about you? Oh my god, how many doors are going to be locked in this godforsaken place? This door is missing its door handle. I should try and find it. You think it's going to be that easy? Oh, look, more bloody imprints. You think it's really going to be that easy to find a door handle? It must be somewhere in here. This is the only room that I can go into. So, do I gotta search in the toilet? The smell coming from this toilet is horrendous. Search inside, yep. Why don't I just stick my little hand deep inside the poop? Go for it. <laughs> Found nothing. Well, I just stuck my hand in shit for no reason. What about you? The smell coming from this, okay. Uh. Uh, well, let's do this again, shall we? All right, not a problem. Let's just try searching again. The smell coming, yep. Uh, yeah, search the toilet. Found nothing. Nice. Let's hope it doesn't bug on me again. Smell coming, yep, I got it. And it... All right, I'm back again. Just so you guys know, I have to play through everything again just to get back here. I'm hoping that this is the correct toilet and that I don't have to go through all three in order to find it because these two just completely froze my game. If that's the case, then I th there's nothing I can do. So let's try it. Search, please let it be in there. Oh my God, please. I found a door handle. Yes, we, we did it, yes. I just need to find the door with the missing handle. Well, I already know where that is. Thank you, God. I don't even really believe in God, but I thank you. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. It took me like 15 minutes to get to this point when it should have taken me five. Um, what's the point of being in here, though? I can't look at any of these. I'm, I'm just in the vent. Okay, well, you know what? For the sake of progressing the story, let's just, let's keep plowing through. Let's do it. Oh my god. Okay. Van. Chill. A little scarier than you need to be. Oh, I'm going down. Why wouldn't it let me slide? That's not cool. We all know how much I like slides, right? Everyone knows. What is this? What? What is this? What is this? Can I not go up here? Oh, it just... It completely flattens out. That leads nowhere. It seems kind of like a hazard. It seems like a fire hazard or something. The airflow is being completely blocked. But you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm going this way. Is this like a choice that I had to make? This is a choice that I had to make, and I made the wrong one. Well, I guess let me try going the other way. See what this leads me to. Hopefully not another dead end. Hopefully a dead me, because I don't want to be here. Oh, great. Another choice? Well, here we go. Time to make the wrong decision again. Oh, a note. Maybe not. It's an old note. Read? Yes, of course. Journal entry 686. Georgie has been acting strange lately. His fascination with dead animals is becoming quite concerning. The look on his face when he kills the cattle is disturbing. I don't know who he is anymore. Ever since his mother passed, he's becoming more and more encapsulated and withheld. 
I'm going to have a chat with him today. Maybe he just needs a chat from an old friend. Ryder. Maybe, or maybe he's turning into a murderer, which is probably what's going on. I can kind of see what's going to happen to Georgie from a mile away, but you know what? Let's just ignore the warning signs and keep pushing, huh? Ah, yes, this is the correct way. I hope. It is. Okay, every time I enter a place and I'm like right up against the wall, it ooh, freaks me out. Valve? It's a red valve wheel. It's jammed at the on position. So do I go in here? It's locked from the other side. Sign attached to the door, read? Yes. This will be the last you hear from me. Flickering candle on the table. A golden tear. There is only panic. Blighted. I beg for forgiveness. He who lives. That's actually pretty nice. That's a nice little poem. All right, I'm assuming I need to find something to unjam that. And this is the only way that I can go. Let's push for it. Why is it getting so tight? What is with this place? Can I go in here? I can't. Oh, God. Kind of wish I didn't at this point. <laughs> Especially now that I found that. Is there going to be somebody here waiting for me to kill me? One, six, three, one. Oh, here we go. It's a red valve wheel. Pick up red valve wheel? Yes, of course. Why not? All right, I got to remember one, six, three, one. I don't know what for, but I got to remember it. Back through the narrow hallway of fear and terror and horrifyingness. Thank God I'm out of there. Let's do this. Boom. It's a red valve wheel. It's jammed in the on position. So how do I... How do I remedy that situation? What do I do to make that not the case? Is there another pipe that I need to be focusing on here? What the hell, dude? Oh, I didn't go this way. I couldn't go this way. That's why. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to pop back in here and see what the deal is. Maybe I missed something. One, six, three, one. That's all that's here. So what the hell? Not too sure what I'm doing wrong here, but it definitely won't let me. Oh, here we go. This pipe is missing a valve wheel. Yep, let's do it. Oh, well, this is gonna work then. Hell yeah, it just disappears. The steam has finally stopped. I can pass through safely. Nice. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's keep going. This place is horrible. You know, it kind of makes sense that that, uh... Oh. I gotta time this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, look at me. It makes sense this is, that this place is all mangled and disgusting. Because... There was going to be something weird here. This seems to be like the underground chambers where all the piping goes on. So, uh, oh, one, six, three, one. Is that it? It was. Haha. <laughs> oh, well, there's poop all over the walls and blood all over the floor and cinnamon toast crunch. The taste you can see. Which way am I going? And. A chainsaw. Why? Oh God, I'm nervous. Oh God. Okay, there's nothing of value here, so let's get the hell out of this room. Looks like some pretty bad stuff happened. What? 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 What is happening? What is happening? What is? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I don't know why the music got all horrible. It's extremely concerning that I'm not seeing anything to accompany this music. The intensity, man, the intensity for no reason. For literally no good reason. What is this? What do I do? What do I do in here, dude? What do I do? This is making no sense. I'm trying this way again? Maybe down this hole? I've already been here. What is this, dude? What is this place? Do I go out the window? Am I not supposed to be alive right now? Is there supposed to be somebody coming to hunt me down and kill me? It's the only thing I can think. Did I go this way yet? I did. There's no way through. There's nothing here. Is there supposed to be something happening? Did I bypass like a death sequence or something? It started when I went like this way. Why? There's nothing I can do here. Oh, <laughs>
How did I... Was I just avoiding him the entire time? I don't understand how I did that. But my god, did that scare the crap out of me. I liked this. This had like a little bit of a, a Northberry Grove vibe to it. And I think this is going in a really cool direction compared to the last demo that I played. But there was that game breaking bug at the toilet when if you choose the wrong toilet, then you're basically screwed. You have to start over from the beginning. So that's the only thing that I can really complain about in all honesty. I mean, just fix that bug and everything will be perfect with this game. But yeah, with all that being said, if you guys like this game and you want to try it out for yourselves, check the link in the description. But for now, that's going to be it for me. Thanks everyone for watching. Hit that like button down below if you enjoyed. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy. <laughs>